Good morning, I'm Kim and welcome back to God's Golden Acres. Today I'm working on the big strawberry patch because it is finally dry enough, which I know some of you watching might be in the drought right now, but it is finally dry enough here that we can actually finish tilling again and planting. So Andrew did that last night in was it like 94 degree heat in May, which is very unusual for our area. And then today, it's supposed to be in the 80s. It's about 60 right now here early in the morning. So I'm gonna be laying, we have some hay. It is from Amish neighbors. It's not sprayed with anything, so we can use it to lay down. We're not going to go buy straw when we have all this extra hay from when we bought the place. And yeah, I'm gonna get that laid down. I broke my tripod. So you'll be seeing little bits of at the end of everything instead of watching us lay straw in um, fast speed. So let's get this work done. There's not much I can do about the sun because this is the time of day to work, right? In the morning or in the evening. So we've got the hay all laid down. Once again, we know who this came from, came from our neighbors, even though it, we inherited it with the property, not normally suggested, but they're Amish. So they lay their horse manure on their gardens. So they're not spraying it with anything because they want their gardens to thrive. Um, so next is compost. Once again, we have horse manure. Part of it's from the Amish that owned it before the English family that we bought it from. The Amish refer to us as English, so I'm using their terms to define this relationship that we have with each other. So we have horse manure. It was actually out laying flat on concrete and we um, scooped it up and it's like five years old or partially like so the the oldest is five years old the newest is a year old so we're gonna have to till that because it got seeds in it so it's of course starting to grow some things so with kids tilling is a little bit dangerous that won't happen until at least nap time or until my husband gets home depending on how nap time goes so this is gonna have to wait until later this evening well we've got the compost down it's got some grass in it. Like I said earlier, this has been sitting outside horse manure for one to five years, depending on its age. It is honestly going to be full of seeds. It's something we're going to be battling, partially because of how long it's sat outside, but also because horses don't fully digest everything, so seeds can actually make it through their manure anyway. So we got the best that we could, and then... We're going to make mounds with this. It's just sort of spread out right here now. We haven't raked it up into mounds yet. And then we'll put our strawberries in. They're bare root, but they'll grow up really fast. So they should be anything else in here. And I'll, in between the strawberries, I will lay pieces of like brown paper bag, which will also help impede anything that is trying to grow up. And then worms really like things like cardboard and paper so that'll bring a bunch of worms up out of the ground over here to really fertilize the strawberries um, same with the straw that's underneath or the hay that's underneath and we will also remulch with some hay like we did over on the kids strawberries so where this is been ran over by the tractor I'll show you how soft it is because like right compacted and then you could just that's a little bit more clay right here. Like it breaks up nicely and that's like compressed with a tractor. Over here is even better because there's some, he scraped off the bottom. So he pulled up some clay with it, which is fine. Clay mixed with compost will help retain moisture, which strawberries don't like to have wet feet, but they don't want to be in dry either. We got a little worm already hanging out in here. Another little bitty worm. So this is a definitely 
we're using what we have on property. We're not spending a ton of money. We bought the strawberry plants for about a dollar each. There's 75 in total. So we're looking at an investment of gas because we had to pay that for the tractor, sweat equity, and the cost of the strawberries. So that's going to be about $100 in cost to then get a nice, decent sized strawberry patch. The cat followed me out here. She's now catching bugs, but she was stalking a bird because they're in here looking for my worms. Because, you know, birds doing bird things. Well, we'll be back out here in the morning. It's getting pretty close to dark. And get that raked up. Come on, May! Kiki! Kiki! May! Oh, yeah. Yeah, the mounds I made are slightly shorter than the ones you made. videoing. Huh? I'm videoing. Hey. If you want a mount to stick, you got to compress it. Oh, that's true. Well, and we tend to do things with what we have on hand. Other people don't necessarily have other equipment, like most people have a shovel. So it's good to show that, you know, if you want to make a mound, this is a good way to pack the sides.
Well, the strawberries are in. It's getting windy. So we can, you can see we made mounds and that we planted in the mounds. That's to keep them from being too wet and also um, creates paths so we can always tuck uh, runners back in. So we put about two feet between each plant. We had about 53 plants we ordered, 25 of each variety, and then a couple extra got mixed in on accident or thrown in on purpose, not really sure. We watered with this tank in the back of the Toro. And we're gonna get, I think we're gonna try to get drip tape, slow flow drip tape, and we'll hook that up. And then when it gets really, really warm, because these are guys are gonna need watered fairly regularly all summer. Hope it's been a couple days and we finally got everything mulched and then we also added these little um, markers that way when we're having the kids help us weed you don't pull the weeds right next to the markers because they might be a strawberry plant and then before there was just maybe one leaf on each of them and that helped to keep track of where they were and we didn't cover them too much with the hay so everything's looking good we'll have strawberries next year so there's 50, 50 plants in this bed 25 plants in the kids garden and we're about to order what do we say 2,000 more two different varieties we talk to our neighbors and they're like hey if you did a big strawberry patch we totally direct people to you because we get asked all the time and it's just not the crop for them so this patch is my personal patch and we should get an even bigger patch back here that'll be to sell to the public and we're very very excited but we're trying to get a transplanter to pull behind our tractor before those would come in and we kind of need to figure out doing all of that relatively quickly because we need to order those like this weekend but that's the hope so Give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see that big project later. And share this video with anyone who you think would like to start their own strawberry patch. It's easy, it's simple, and absolutely beautiful. Thanks for being with us. God bless.